Hello friends, welcome to ProTalent and this is our module 3 for score booster for legal reasoning. In this score booster, I am once again talking about contract law. Law of contract turns out to be very important. Remember, this score booster program will help you to develop detailed understanding about advanced level questions and concepts. Okay, with this particular video, I am going to discuss about important rules related to offer and acceptance i will also try to repeat one more time postal rule because there are a lot of students who are finding it difficulty in terms of solving it out so this is what i am repeating one more time and do not miss out to take 50 more questions with this particular video okay protalentdigital.com ke upar aapko ye 50 questions ki pdf milegi जिसको आप बिल्कुल डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं रिमेंबर protalentdigital.com इज नाउ अ पेड सर्विस द स्टूडेंट्स हु विल बी परचेजिंग protalentdigital.com सर्विसेज विल बी गेटिंग ऑल दिस पीडीएफ अदरवाइज द स्टूडेंट्स विल नॉट बी इन अ पोजीशन टू गेट दैट पीडीएफ ओके सो इफ यू वांट टू प्रैक्टिस प्लीज जॉइन protalentdigital.com बिकॉज़ protalentdigital.com इज अ परफेक्ट प्लेस for you for the preparation of your CLAT exam. Aakhari ke samay pe, ye jo score booster hai, that will change the entire scenario for your preparation. Okay, so ye pura ka pura module aapki tayari ke liye kaafi madad karega. Okay, Chal, let me start to talk about important concepts. So what I am going to do is, I am discussing about rules for legal offer. So first I will be talking about legal offer. Then I will be talking about legal acceptance. Here I have given you certain rules and with every rule I will be discussing about either example or there may be a case which I will be discussing. I hope that is very clear to you. I will be discussing a particular concept. With that I will be giving you a proper case as well. For example, here the first rule about legal offer says that an offer must give rise to legal consequences. It follows that parties must enter in agreement for the purpose of enforcing it into a court of law. So that means there has to be a legal enforceability in the contract. How contracts are different than the agreement? Okay, agreement does not result in any kind of legal enforceability while contract will result in a legal enforceability. I hope that is very clear. Next point says, if agreement is devoid of this legal effect, obviously that is not a contract. It is merely an agreement. That means all contract are agreement, but not all agreements are contract. Earlier, we discussed about this case called Balfour versus Balfour. A husband agreed to send his wife 30 pounds every month while he was away. After a while, he failed to pay that much amount. His wife sued him because she said that that was a contract. Okay. However, uh, the court held that she could not recover the amount as it was yet another social agreement which is very common between couples and thereby parties did not contemplate to have a legal consequence. So that's a rule number one. Rule number two, a statement of intention is that an offer. Okay, merely an intention of doing something is not an offer. Narendra in the course of his convention mentioned to Rahul that he plans to give rupees 10 lakh to anyone marrying his daughter with his consent. Okay, the above statement merely is an intention which should not be mistaken as an offer. Aapko yaad hoga, in a previous module, I had a question jahan pe ek bande ne Aston Martin usko kharidni thi. So he asked that what is a price? Samne wali company ne unko price bheja. That is merely an intention. That's not the 
offer. Coming to the rule number three, mere supply of information does not tend to amount to an offer. When a person supplies information or merely invites offer, he cannot be said to make an offer. There was a very famous case called Harvey versus Pese. So here in this case, X sent a telegram to Y asking for, will you sell bumper hall pen and quote the lowest price. X replied through a telegram, lowest price for the bumper hall pen is 900 pounds. X replied stating that I agree to buy this bumper hall pen for rupees 900 pounds. You can say X reply stating that I am agreeing to buy this pen at 900 pound. Okay, in a suit brought by X against Y, the court held that merely quoting a price does not intend for any kind of offer. Okay, so this is very important. Another one, a general offer must be distinguished from a specific order. Okay, so I'm sure students are aware about a concept called general offer and a specific offer okay specific means it's a proper offer general it is for the public okay a general order is the offer to the world at large and it is not to a particular person so newspaper may advertisement on a tv pe advertisement on a tv pe koi offer dikhana amazon site pe koi offer dikhana all those things are general offer they are not specific offer. Okay. Yeah. So here the case law says Carlisle versus Carbolic Smoke Ball Company. I discussed about this case in one of the contract, you can say, uh, video. So I'm discussing one more time. Carbolic Smoke Ball Company, which was a pharmaceutical company, was interested in testing a new drug in the market. They advertised in the paper promising reward of 100 pounds. To anyone okay who used the drug and contracted the disorder called influenza okay one mrs carlyle bought it and used it as per the instruction printed on the label upon contracting the influenza she contacted the company to claim the reward company refused to pay her promised sum company ne bola hum aapko paisa nahi de sakte hai okay. the court held that company was liable to pay mrs carlyle kyu pay karna hai because the company ne bola tha that humne ye jo dawai banayi hai and if you use in a particular sense to aapko influenza nahi hoga aur agar aapko influenza hoga we will be paying you 100 pound and therefore it is a contract okay so there there arose a contract between the lady and the company as soon as she fulfilled the condition jab kab general offer aati hai general offer mein ye agar likha gaya hai that first come first serve basis आप अगर हमारी साइट पे आकर ये ये चीज परचेस करोगे तो आपको इस प्राइस पे चीजें मिलेगी सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दैट फर्स्ट कम फर्स्ट सो बेसिस ये आपको पक्का मिलेगा ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली द आईडिया ओके आगे बढ़ते हैं रूल नंबर 5 एन ऑफर मस्ट बी कम्युनिकेटेड टू द ऑफरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नंबर 2 एन ऑफर इज इफेक्टिव ओनली व्हेन इट इज कम्युनिकेटेड टू द ऑफरी until the offer is made known to the offeree, there can be no acceptance and no contract. Okay, agar main koi chiz agar aapko offer karta hoon aur meri communication aapke tak pahunchi nahi, how can we say that my agreement is there with you? There cannot be. Yes or no? Meeting of mind hone ke liye, do party ka mind ek hona chahiye. Okay, uske liye communication plays a very important role. Okay, here a very famous case says Lalman versus Gauri Dutt. Okay, a master sent his servant in search of his missing nephew. In the meantime, master advertised in the newspaper promising an award of rupees 500 to anyone who traces this boy. The servant brought back the boy. After a couple of days, the servant came to know about the reward and claimed it. Here, the court held that servant was not entitled for the reward for doing anything because he was ignorant about the offer being made. And therefore, this offer cannot be construed as a legal offer 
and thereby when servant brings that boy that does not mean it is an acceptance okay so remember this idea when you don't know when you don't have a, an understanding about the offer that means there was no offer and there was no acceptance about it okay coming to number 6 an invitation to an offer is not an offer remember this invitation to an offer is not an offer an offer must be distinguished from an invitation to receive the offer such invitations you can say for offers are therefore in the eye of law do not become agreement simply by their acceptance so when newspaper advertisements are coming or quotations are coming or there is a display in the you can say mall of a particular price again okay, there is an auction happening all those things are simply invitation to offer okay all these are cases all these are cases of invitation to receive offer and hence if customer asks for that goods or makes an offer the seller is free to accept the offer or not to accept the offer i hope that is very clear okay and then comes rule number seven it says the terms of the offer must be certain to constitute a lawful offer the terms of offer must be definite and not vague this is very important okay so here it says x offers to give a lavish dinner to y upon y's completion of certain work here kya dega lavish dinner kya hai kaun sa kaam karega ye pata nahi hai and therefore this kind of vague offer will not constitute any kind of legal enforceability for any kind of contract okay chali great so these are the seven rules for legal offer let's talk about some very important part like contract by post theek hai ab ye contract by post mein hum aage bhi baat kar chuke i am repeating it one more time i am creating here total you can say five situations ye panch situations ka maksad kya hai aapke dimag mein ye cheezon ki clarity lagana that postal rule ke mutabik offer or acceptance kab mana jayega okay chaliye yahan pe ye presume karte hain a is an offerer and b is an offeree matlab a offer karta hai और बी उसको एक्सेप्ट करता है ये कंडीशंस है और बस हम ये सिचुएशंस क्रिएट करते हैं नंबर वन सिचुएशन नंबर वन बोलता है ए पोस्ट द लेटर ऑफ ऑफर टू बी बी कैन एक्सेप्ट द ऑफर व्हेन द लेटर रिच इज हिम ओके सो ऑफर शुड बी कम्युनिकेटेड टू दी ऑफर ओके सो पोस्टल रूल के अंदर सिचुएशन वन क्रिएट क्या करती है ए पोस्ट लेटर टू ऑफर समथिंग टू बी ओके और जैसे ही बी के पास वो ऑफर पहुंची वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अगर बी के पास वो ऑफर नहीं पहुंची होती तो चलेगा नहीं ठीक है सो देर फॉर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज ऑफर शुड बी कम्युनिकेटेड टू दी ऑफर ही दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग ओके नंबर टू नाउ सिचुएशन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बी पोज द लेटर ऑफ एक्सेप्टेंस बी ने एक्सेप्ट तो कर लिया एंड नाउ इट इज पोस्टिंग अ लेटर ऑफ एक्सेप्टेंस ठीक है नाउ बी हैज डन वॉट एवर इज नेसेसरी एंड विद इन इज पावर to conclude the contract the letter is now out of reach of b so the contract has come into existence of which b alone can enforce against a okay to so, sirf b kar sakta abhi a ke paas pahuncha nahi hai but it is acceptance of b is considered and therefore there is an agreement is considered okay so let's talk about situation number 3 situation number 3 kya bolta hai letter of acceptance reaches to a acceptance having been communicated to a can now enforce the contract against b that means jis din a ke paas wo communication pahunchti hai to ab a b ke upar enforce kar sakta tha theek hai jab tak a pe a ke paas communication nahi pahunchi hai tab tak b hi a ke upar enforce kar sakta tha i think that is very clear and then situation number 4 revocation of offer ab ye revoke kab karega if a wants to revoke the offer he should do so before b can enforce the contract against a to a b se pehle revoke karna chahe kar sakta hai and b gets a right under the contract the moment b posts the letter of acceptance so jis din b ne apna letter accept karke bhej diya to ए के लिए वो एनफोर्सेबल हो गया 
अब ये रिवोक नहीं कर सकता सो हेन्स फॉर द रिवोकेशन ऑफ ऑफर टू बी इफेक्टिव लेटर ऑफ रिवोकेशन ऑफ ऑफर शुड रिच बी बिफोर बी पोस्ट द लेटर ऑफ एक्सेप्टेंस मतलब अगर बी अपने एक्सेप्टेंस पोस्ट करे उसके पहले बी के पास ये रिवोकेशन का कागज पहुंच जाना चाहिए एंड देन इफ बी वॉन्ट्स टू रिवोक द एक्सेप्टेंस ई शुड डू सो बिफोर ए कैन एनफोर्स द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अगेंस्ट बी दैट मीन्स ए गेट्स राइट अंडर द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वेन ई गेट्स द एक्सेप्टेंस तो ए के पास एक्सेप्टेंस पहुंचे उसके पहले बी रिवोक करना चाहे कर सकता है so hence the revocation of acceptance the the letter conveying the same should reach a earlier than the letter of acceptance itself okay so ye mere hisab se aapko samajh mein aa gaya hoga so here there is a very famous case called household fire and carriage accident insurance company limited versus grant that in this case defendant has applied for the allotment of shares in the company this was the offer of the company allotted the shares to defendant and the letter of the allotment theek okay. hai acceptance was posted the letter did not reach the defendant later the defendant was called upon to pay for the shares it was held that defendant had to pay for the shares though the letter of allotment of share had not reached him okay uske paas nahi pahuncha tha फिर भी उसको उसका पेमेंट करना पड़ा बिकॉज ऑफ द पोस्टल रूल आई थिंक दैट इज वेरी क्लियर ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द रूल्स फॉर लीगल एक्सेप्टेंस ओके लीगल एक्सेप्टेंस के रूल्स क्या है फटाफट समझ लेते हैं पहला एक्सेप्टेंस मस्ट बी एब्सोल्यूट एंड अनकॉलिफाइड फॉर जो भी ऑफर ने बोला है ऑफर ने बोला है वही चीज एक्सेप्टेंस में आएगी I am going to sell you a car, and सामने वाला बंदा बोलता है yes, I am ready to purchase. Please make it into red color. So this is not absolute and unqualified. ठीक है, so that's a problem. So in order to be legally effective, it must be an absolute and unqualified acceptance in all terms. Even slightest deviation from the terms of the offer makes the acceptance invalid. Keep that in mind. Number two rule. Acceptance must be given only by the person to whom the offer is made. जिस बंदे ने ऑफर दिया है और जिस बंदे को ऑफर दिया है वही बंदा एक्सेप्टेंस दे सकता है और कोई बंदा चलेगा नहीं फॉर एग्जाम्पल बोल्टन वर्सेज जॉन्स का केस था फेमस केस था ए सोल्ड इज बिजनेस टू इज मैनेजर बी विदाउट डिस्कलोजिंग द फैक्ट टू इज कस्टमर ओके सी इज अ कस्टमर हु एड अ रनिंग अकाउंट विथ ए सेंड एन ऑर्डर for supply of goods to a by his name b received the order executed the same c refused to pay the price it was held that there was no contract between b and c because c never made any offer to b actually he made offer to a okay so this is very critical next principle says that silence can never amount to acceptance ye bahut kaam ka hai ठीक है साइलेंस को एक्सेप्टेंस नहीं मानेंगे मेंटल एक्सेप्टेंस और क्वाइट एसेंट नॉट एविडेंस बाय वर्ड और बाय कंडक्ट डज नॉट अमाउंट टू वैलिड एक्सेप्टेंस दिस इज सो इवन वेर द ऑफर हैज सेड दैट मच अ मोड ऑफ एक्सेप्टेंस विल सफाइस ओके एक्सेप्टेंस मस्ट बी कम्युनिकेटेड टू द ऑफर अदरवाइज इट हैज नो इफेक्ट रिमेंबर दैट एक्सेप्टेंस हैज टू बी Communicated either through words or by action. Meeting of mind तभी बनेगा ठीक है मनी मन में कुछ मान लेंगे तो चलेगा नहीं ठीक है यहां पर मजेदार सा केस है फेल द हाउस वर्सेज यू कैन से बाइंडली एफ ऑफर्ड अ लेटर टू बाई हिज नेफ्यूज हॉर्स फॉर डॉलर थर्टी स्टेटिंग इफ आई हियर नो मोर फ्रॉम यू आई शेल कंसिडर द हॉर्स इज माइंड द नेफ्यू सेंट नो रिप्लाई एज सजेस्टेड बाई एफ बट टोल्ड B is auctioneer not to sell that particular horse as he intended to sell that horse to F. B sold the horse by mistake. It was held that F could not succeed because his nephew had not communicated his acceptance to him. Okay, बहुत ही मजेदार था. F ने अपनी communication सही तरीके से भेजी नहीं थी. Okay, 
Coming to number three, acceptance must be given within a reasonable time before the offer lapses. So there has to be a reasonable time to be legally effective acceptance. It has to be we can say mentioned in a specific time period. Okay, if there is no time is stipulated, acceptance must be given within a reasonable time. This is important. Okay, okay. If there is no time limit, what is it? Reasonable time. Reasonable time. Who will mean it? It depends of, upon the goods. Goods are of perishable nature. Okay, their business is how it is. The business of the customer is how frequently they come. So these all things will be counted. Okay. So now we come to certain questions. These questions will give you better understanding about the entire idea which we discussed. Okay. Shall we? What is it? Acceptance and offer is complete when acceptance is put into the course of transmission so as to be out of the you can say power of acceptor. Acceptance once complete makes the agreement binding on both the parties. A accepts B's offer okay, of his motor car for rupees 4 lakh. The acceptance was put into email. Unfortunately, when email was put, there is distortion, result of which B is not in a position to really read what A has written. अब ए ने ईमेल डाल दिया है अब ए के हाथ से तो निकल गया है ठीक है तो वो एक्सेप्टेंस गिना जाएगा सो देयर बाय देयर बाय हियर इट इज कम्युनिकेशन इज सेंट बाय बी व्हिच इज बाइंडिंग ऑन ए ओके हियर व्हेन ए सेंड्स अ लेटर टू बी एंड ए एक्सेप्ट्स इट ठीक है उसके ईमेल से अपने पावर में से तो निकल गया जब उसके पावर से निकल गया दैट इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी एन एक्सेप्टेंस ओके दैट इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी एन acceptance and acceptance once complete makes the agreement binding on both parties as a principle b me bola hai that means both parties are bound to perform their part in the agreement because wo acceptance ho chuka hai okay so ye bilkul dhyan rakhna a ne email bheja theek hai aur wo acceptance ho gaya kyunki uske hath se wo nikal gaya course of transmission me bhej diya okay coming to number 2 no one can accept proposal without any knowledge thereof. Okay, कोई भी बंदा proposal को accept नहीं कर सकता जब उसको knowledge ही नहीं हो, ठीक है? For example, Harish proposed to give a reward to anyone informing about whereabouts his lost dog. उसका एक dog है जो गुम हो गया, उसके बारे में कोई बताएगा, उसको वो कुछ reward देगा. Proposal was printed in a daily newspaper by the name called Pro Times on 1194 on. 3rd January, Harish immediately rushed to the spot and collected the dog. At that time, neither Rahim knew about the award since he was not regular reader of Pro Times, nor Harish mentioned anything about the award. On 5th January, Rahim came to know about the announcement of the award through a friend of him demanded a thousand rupees from Harish. Okay, this Bhai Sahib Rahim, usko ye dog mil chuka tha. Dog milne ke baad, Harish unke paas pahunche. उनसे उन्होंने डॉग ले लिया ठीक है अब रहीम को बाद में पता चला ठीक है तो इज दिस रियली एन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग और नॉट अब रहीम को बाद में पता चला सो उसको पहले कम्युनिकेशन नहीं था एंड देयर बाय दिस इज नो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो हरीश नीड नॉट टू पे द अमाउंट बिकॉज़ ही हैड गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन विदाउट नोइंग अबाउट द रिवॉर्ड हरीश नीड नॉट पे द अमाउंट बिकॉज़ प्रॉमिस वाज मेड ओनली टू रीडर ऑफ प्रो टाइम्स सिर्फ प्रो टाइम्स को रीडर को नहीं था इट इज गिवन टू एवरी वन बट दैट पर्सन वॉज नॉट अवेयर अबाउट दिचुएशन ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन कमिंग टू नंबर थ्री अ क्लियर ऑफर एंड एक्सेप्टेंस लीड टू कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल रिलेशनशिप अ फैक्स मैसेज फ्रॉम मिस्टर एक्स टू रियल एस्टेट एजेंसी रीड विल यू सेल सिक्सटी बाय फोर्टी प्लॉट ऑफ लैंड एट इंदौर टू मी कोट द लोएस्ट प्राइस रियल एस्टेट एजेंसी रिप्लाई द लोएस्ट प्राइस इज दिस ठीक है मैं वापस ये सवाल मैंने रिपीट करा था लास्ट टाइम मैंने एस्टन मार्टिन का क्वेश्चन किया था दिस इज अबाउट रियल एस्टेट वाला पार्ट ठीक है फॉलोइंग फैक्ट्स फ्रॉम यू कैन से एक्स द एस्टेट एजेंसी रेड आई एग्री टू बाय द साइट फॉर दिस प्राइस कोटेड तो वो बोला कि भाई मैं तैयार हूं इसको परचेस करने के लिए सिंपली सेंडिंग दिस फैक्ट्स मैसेज ऑफ दिस प्राइस डज नॉट मीन दिस इज अ कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल रिलेशनशिप सो हियर रियल एस्टेट एजेंसी इज नॉट बाउंड By this, okay. So real estate agency becomes bound. No, mere quotation of price will not bind. So this is pretty much okay. Okay. Real estate agency may decline to sell the site, but must compensate. No compensation. की बात ही नहीं है. Real estate agency may argue that it did not desire to sell this site to X, but X can prevent uh, 
रियल एस्टेट एजेंसी टू यू कैन से डू एनी अदर थिंग गलत बात इट इज ओनली बी एस टू बी दी आंसर क्यों बी आंसर है क्योंकि भैया उन्होंने सिर्फ कोटेशन भेजा था कोटेशन की वजह से दे आर नॉट बाइंडिंग टू फॉलो दिस ओके चलिए ग्रेट सो विद दिस आई थिंक दिस एंटायर आइडिया ऑफ ऑफर एंड एक्सेप्टेंस विल गेट इन टू योर हेड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन प्लीज सॉल्व दो क्वेश्चन ठीक है उसके साथ पीछे आंसर कीज होगी आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग दिस क्वेश्चन इन अ वीडियो फॉर्मेट ठीक है सो यूल गेट अ कंप्लीट अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट दो क्वेश्चन ओके स्कोर बुस्टर्स आर गोइंग ऑन इन अ वंडरफुल मैनर आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग दिस प्लीज गिव मी फीडबैक कि आपको ये कैसा लग रहा है ओके चलिए थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड ऑल द बेस्ट